Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Gemmerat coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we are going through Squad Doctor Episode 2. Let's go. Woo! So guys, welcome to another video on the channel. Now today, guys, we are going to be doing Squad Doctor for X Trinity. He has a budget of around 1 million coins, so we're going to be working with that. Uh, just before we get into the video, guys, I just want to talk a little bit about something. So FIFA Mobile is pretty much uh, quite dead at the moment. Uh, it's, it's quite obvious. There's nothing really going on in the game. I think this is the first time in months that I've actually had no stamina like to actually use. I mean, obviously, I could use it on this uh, Blue Star training, but... I don't know, it's not really worth the time at the moment. It's pretty interesting that that's the only repeatable event at the moment. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of complaints about it, which is understandable, you know. There's there's nothing to do in the game, guys. It's it's really quite bad. I mean, obviously, you can grind out the versus attack mode, but that's completely up to you. Like, I, I really don't really have all that much time at the moment. Um, I've very got very strict sort of guidelines with school and study and summer and traveling all that sort of stuff so i barely have time to make videos as it is uh also guys i will be getting a new cell phone very shortly so i may be doing some gameplay videos in the future which will be a new thing for the channel however there will be an instagram post on my instagram uh, about if you want to be entered into the next uh squad doctor episode so make sure you comment on that that will be up on my instagram once this video has been published so make sure you check that out. Uh, my Instagram link will be in the description down below. Uh, also, guys, there's been some rumors apparently that there may be some new versus attack mode rewards as well as new league rewards on Reddit. I don't know if they're true or not, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, guys, let's just get into today's episode, starting off with his attack. So guys, here we have X Trinity's attack. Now, the thing I do like about this is that he's obviously got uh, Ronaldo and Messi, but he told me that he has sold them. So we've pretty much got around a million coins to work with, and we've got to rebuild his whole attack. Now, first things first is obviously Hazard is a good card, so you don't need to trade that out. And also that Dybala left forward is a very good card. So those are two very nice additions. Now... The first position that you need to fix is obviously your right forward. Right forwards are very cheap at the moment, especially because of Angel Di Maria. It depends on how close you are to Angel Di Maria, but if you don't have him, I will give you some suggestions for your right forward, as well as your two strikers, centre forward, and left wing and right wing. So let's just start off with the right forward position. So considering your budget of around 1 million coins, you really have three choices. Uh, there's actually four. I mean, so the first one is obviously just grind out until you get Angel Di Maria. The first decision is that you go for Thuram, who's around 100,000 coins. You could probably get him on bid for that. The second option is Valbuena. I don't really recommend him, though, because he does give minus one to marking. And marking is one of the best boosts in the game. So I wouldn't really recommend him. Uh, but maybe if you're wanting to, you could go through and pick up this Thomas Mueller, an attack mode version. He's very cheap, he's around 30k. He does give plus one reactions to all, which is gonna help your team. And it's also within the restraints of your budget. So I would recommend that uh, for your two strikers. Now, there's only two strikers that everybody should have. Regardless of who your main striker is, this is the number one priority. He's extremely rare. Uh, he's 69 overall rated. Friday, Fred Friday, he's a game changer, he gives plus two to marking, he's probably still one of the best cards in this game, considering his price point, but you will need to snipe him, which is one down full. The other player which I recommend for you to go through and pick up is if you want to, you can go through and pick up this Yanko. He may not be within the restraints of your budget, which is a sad thing because he is a great, great card. He's around 300k as you can see, and you also need to snipe him. Another option which I would recommend you get is this game changer here. Uh, I think his name is Allegria or something like that. He gives uh, plus two to ball control. He's extremely cheap. Uh, there you can see he's around 2,000 coins for giving plus two ball, ball control, which is one of the best boosts in the game. So I would recommend you picking up Friday and Alex Illyria. That's going to cost you around 30k. Friday's around, I don't know, 25k maybe. 
and Allegria here is obviously around 2k. Uh, also, Mjolnir, like, unless you're close to uh, Angel Di Maria, definitely pick up him. So moving on to your two wingers, Xtrinity, there are two options. Like, I think I'm going to go down the path of building a sort of hybrid Calcio A team for you this week. So at your left wing, you can pick up Diao here, around 110k, extremely pacey, which is all you really want on the wings. Also got fantastic ball control, etc., and also gives a bonus plus one to acceleration and is only around 100k now you told me that you did sell your Messi and Ronaldo so ultimately these are very good replacements for them they're very cheap and they're still relatively high rated cards now the second one which I recommend is Kandreva here who's around 150k if you want to you can go through and pick up uh, Mohamed Salah at the uh, right wing position he is a bit more expensive but he is 91 overall rated he does give a uh, worse boost, but he's still probably a slightly better option than Kandreva. Depending on your budget though, those are the two options that I would give you at left and right wing there. Uh, now, for the game changes, like if you don't choose to use the 343, which you sort of tend to use according to what I've seen through your screenshots, uh, you could go through and pick up, say, Musonda, who's a gold game changer, uh, left wing, who gives, I think, plus two to dribbling. And also at right wing, you can pick up someone like Kuki Zalazar or um, Aramu, who are very cheap. But the thing is, is that Aramu is extremely rare. I don't think you will really uh, maybe be lucky enough to pick him up. But if that's the case, I recommend these options for your attack. The game changes are really going to help. Like, there's no point in having just gold players or elite players if you aren't using them in formations because they do not help your team out at all. At the end of the day, it's all about building your main 11 Moving team. Moving on to center forward just really quickly. Uh, there aren't really all that many good center forward cards in the Calcio A and in the game to be exact. Now, there is this Nine Gillen and Toddy, but I'm going to recommend you a different form of Nine Gillen unless you want to pick up this, but he is very expensive. Uh, the only cheap good center forward in the game who has got boost to the other team is a rookie card let's see if we can find him here he's not a part of the calcio a uh, let's see here what we've got yeah it's this card here so you could pick up this card but the thing is is that he is quite expensive uh, just for plus one reactions i'm not sure if he's really worth it so it's really up to you what you want to do with your center forward position but those are just a few options but yeah maybe you just want to have a look around uh, maybe wait for another center forward to be re released in the future. But yeah, let's move in to the next aspect of this video. So guys, here we are back with the midfield. Now we've got around six to seven hundred k to still work with. We picked up Mueller, who was around thirty k, and we also picked up the two wingers, who are around two hundred fifty k in total, as well as the two strikers. So yeah, around seven hundred k left to work with. So yeah, I'm going to be recommending you to change. Uh, Jao Moutinho firstly because unless you're using two midfielders it's not uh, sorry two attacking midfielders it's not worth having a higher overall rated card and you've already got James Rodriguez there especially if you're using like the 3-4-3 the 4-3-3 which are probably going to be the formations that you lean to especially with the two wingers uh, that we purchase if you do decide to do this um, so yeah definitely going to recommend one attacking midfielder going to recommend you sell your Manu there 90 centimid uh, maybe keep Hamshicks and Danny Sabalos, they are decent cards. Honda and Brahimi are also very good. Uh, also, Kov Kovacic, uh, don't recommend him. I will recommend you something else. And Diawara and Bradley are more than fine to use. So let's just go in and starting off with the attacking midfield. So the first card that you should be picking up is this Carrasco here. Plus two tackling, minus one heading. He's one of the best game changers at attacking midfield in the game. He's around 2-3k. to three K. Don't worry about it. He's very good. He's going to help your defense. One of the best cards. Like, I use him. I still use him over Urzel sometimes, um, unless I'm using three attacking midfielders. But, yeah, definitely recommend this card. He's not extinct either, which is also a fantastic thing. Now, moving on to your central midfielders on the theme of uh, Calcio A. Now, the first one which I recommend you picking up is Brozovic here. Uh, he's going to help out with long passing as well as plus one dribbling. I use this card forever before there were the huge game updates. He's very, very well-rounded player. He's got great stats and he's around 130, 120k. Uh, also, if you want to pay a bit more, you can pick up Sammy Kadera here who's around 150k. He's going to 
give plus one tackling to your defense as well, which is also a bonus. And alternatively, obviously a beastly card, regardless of his rating, uh, Raja Nine Golan here. He's not going to really help out all that much, but he's going to receive all the boosts from all the other Calcio A players that you do have in your team. Uh, he also does give plus two short passing accuracy. Uh, say, for example, if you do decide to pick up that Muhammad Salah, uh, short passing accuracy is one of the best boosts in the game. So that is say definitely if you do something pick to up one of one or two of these cards. You're looking at around 300k, especially if you pick up Kadera and uh, Brozovic there. But Nangulin, he's a solid card. And he, like I said, is going to receive all the boosts from all of the uh, Italian League, Calcio A, Serie A, whatever you want to call it, players that you choose to put into your team. So around 200 to 300k, depending on whether or not you pick up all three, only one or only two, it's up to you. But yeah, moving on to your central defensive midfield now. Uh, Diwara, Diwara and Bradley are decent cards. Uh, there are some other good options here, like if you do decide to incorporate a central defensive midfielder into your starting 11 and you do get rid of uh, Kov Kovacic there, you can pick up Jorginho who gives plus one short passing and plus one aggression. Uh, also, if you don't decide to pick up that central midfield Sammy Kadera, there is this Sammy Kadera who's also a very, very nice card. So those are two to consider. Um, if you want to pick up a few other game changers at central defensive midfield, that is up to you, but I will also give you a few recommendations. Uh, for me, I've used uh, Cambiaso, but he is quite expensive. Uh, he's around two to 300K. You could also alternatively maybe pick up someone like Sensei, who is, I think I've got him in my team. Let me just show you. He's a very, very good card, and he's probably a bit more beneficial than your Bradley. Uh, yeah, so Sensei is a very good card. I'd recommend him maybe over using the Bradley because plus two finishing is going to help out all your attackers. So that is also a very good thing. Alternatively, a lot of people use Escalante here who gives uh, plus two strength and I think it's minus one to shot. He's around 10k. So he's also another one to consider. But definitely Sensei, he's a very cheap card and 100% worth the investment. So yeah, moving on to your defense. So ultimately what we've gone through and picked up for your, um, what's it called, it? your midfield. We've picked up a few defensive midfielders if you want, if you decide to incorporate a defensive midfielder into your team like, as a uh, formation in the future. And also a few central midfielders as well as Carrasco, uh, Sensei. So yeah, this is probably going to cost you around two to three, maybe 400k. So we've got around 300k left on your defense. It all really depends on what you decide to pick up. But let's move on to his defense, guys. So guys, here we are at X Trinity's defense with around 300k, 400k to spend. So obviously, Alexandro and Lulich there are great cards. They're going to help out your Calcio A squad building. Um, alternatively, also with Cerner there, you definitely have the option of using five at the back going forward. Now, I'm going to recommend you changing out Pogba, Keane, uh, Luis is fine. You obviously gradually build him up over time. You're right back, and Rufier is fine. So, sell Keane, and I'm going to give you two recommendations for center back as well as a right back uh, recommendation. So, let's move into that right away. So, these two cards are actually extremely cheap, um, and they're definitely going to help out your team. Now, you can choose to either pick the 88 version of Kaldara or the 89 version. The thing is, is that the 88 obviously gives better boost, but the 89 has a slightly better rating and has plus one tackling, but you're probably forfeiting around 50k if you want to pick up the 88 overall version. That's up to you, but I definitely recommend one of those to replace uh, Keen because if you sell Keen, you're going to have enough coins to buy one of these and still have a few coins left over. Now a few other options that you have here is this card who is extremely cheap, he's around 35 to 40k, uh, 88 overall and he's going to definitely be more beneficial to you than Pogba. Also Raul Albiol here, plus one marking, plus one tackling, some of the best boosts for defenders and is going to be extremely useful for all Italian Serie A, Calcio A players. If you want, you could probably up your budget because center backs are usually relatively cheap. Let's just have a look at what we've got at 200k for the center back for Calcio A. Uh, but yeah, definitely three fantastic options there, which I would 100% recommend to you, man. Like it's really, really cheap at the moment to build a squad, which is fantastic. 
But yeah, um, obviously those three are the ones that I'm going to recommend to you first because A, it will give you coins to have like for future events if you want to upgrade positions in the long run and B, you know, it's always nice just to have a few coins there just in case, you know, you want to open a few packs or whatever. Uh, the other position that we wanted to check out was the right back in case you do decide to use four at the back. So let's go into that. Man, I hate when it does that. When it uh, when you put in the price as buy now and it does it as current bid, it's so annoying. But anyway, enough of that. Let's move on to your right back. Some really nice cards here, man. As you can see, very like relatively cheap as well. Um, alternatively, if you don't really want to use the uh, four at the back, you could go through and pick up a few game changers. But Conti here, very nice card. Also, D Ambrosio is a fantastic card as well. Plus one acceleration, plus one marking, or plus one tackling, plus one crossing. Depending on which recommendations you have chosen, uh, yeah, definitely two nice cards to consider. I just want to check, uh, let me think. So there is a few good game changers you could pick up. Like you could pick up uh, Jordi Calavera, a game changer. If you don't decide to use five at the back, who gives plus two to tackling to all, which is a nice card. Um, alternatively, you could pick up someone like Danny Alves, uh, the game changer version. Alternatively, like you could also just go up and spend a bit more money or coins on your uh, defenders or if you want to pick up a better midfielder, that's up to you. But yeah, this is pretty much just going to be the end of the video for today. Thank you all for everything. And make sure, guys, if you want to be in the next episode, comment on the Instagram picture on my Instagram and peace.